What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Jake, and I just added the M18 Packout Vacuum to my collection. This vacuum is currently on sale, so I picked it up with the money I saved by making my DIY drawers in the last video. If you haven't seen that video yet, please make sure to check it out, and also hit that like button. So far, I'm pretty happy with this purchase, but there are three things I decided to improve upon with another DIY project. This custom compact storage dolly. This dolly solves everything I think the current Milwaukee version could benefit from. Extra storage, better reach, and improved portability. One of the first things I noticed after unboxing the vacuum is that the included adapter can't be stored in the vacuum. So I made the box to not only store the adapter, but a few other parts I think are useful, like an extra battery and my wand attachments. The hose stretches to about 6 feet, which I think is pretty good, but I'd rather also have a wand attachment to better reach low spots. And the third thing this dolly improves is the portability. The compact size of the vacuum makes it much more portable than a full size shop vac, but you still either have to carry it or click it onto a bigger stack. I think that the dolly makes this awesome vacuum even better because it keeps the small footprint, can store more things, and it rolls just like my full size shop vac. Because of where the hose connects, I won't be pulling it like this all the time, but it is very easy to roll with the handle. To make the wand, I used some leftover 1 inch PVC conduit I had and cut two pieces to a comfortable length. The conduit has the perfect inside diameter to fit right over the end of the hose. PVC conduit also has one flared end, so the pieces can be put together to form any length of wand you want. I made the box using 3 quarter inch scraps of plywood and glued and brad nailed it together. A few coats of paint later and it was ready for wheels. This initial layout of the casters wasn't the most stable, but it wasn't a big deal to screw them back in. To make the box pack out compatible, I 3D printed these cleats. No. I cleaned up the glue and tried again. From my experience, the hot glue works much better than double stick tape. And then to securely attach it, I put in two screws each. I also 3D printed this piece that goes in front of the latch to keep the packouts in place. To 
To stick with the theme of my other DIY pack projects, I added 3D printed bumpers to cover the corners. To keep everything in the box secure, I'm using these bungees. By feeding one end through a hole on each side and attaching them in the middle to the carabiner, it keeps everything in place but it can also easily be moved out of the way if I need to grab anything. And the final step was adding another 3D printed custom nameplate. Now that the dolly is done, I can finally put it to good use. Using it as a skateboard though, is not advised. The dolly can even be used to store any of my half packouts, or all of them. Thanks for watching another one of my packout mods. Please like, subscribe, and comment what you think. And stay tuned for my review of this vacuum coming out soon. See you later.